All right, here's a possible solution for some of you people, and here's a question for me. So I'm gonna try to provide both helpful information and ask a question at the same time. In the abstract, here's what I want to accomplish. I want my in-house live auditorium in this building experience on these screens to be great and independent from my streaming experience. And, um, and so, but I want them to talk together. The other big picture goal that I want to do is I want to try to eliminate, you know, as many volunteers as possible. I want to, I want to streamline some of this. So I want this pro presenter computer really to handle the majority of the content that's going to the stream. I don't want there to have to be a second person just operating the media for the stream, right? So if, if most of it could happen from this computer, that would be ideal. So here's a solution I've come with up with so far that may help some of you. And there's, but there's a little bit of a, a quirk in here that maybe we could work on together. So here's how I'm currently doing it. I've got obviously got this ProPresenter computer outputting to the main screens and also um, that uh, stage display right there. Those outputs are coming out of the back of the computer, Thunderbolt 3 to these um, you know HDMI converters. So HDMI right there and right there. It's a mess back here. Both of these are routed underneath the countertop and each of them are going actually into one of these boxes. So there's two of these boxes underneath my countertop there that um, then feeds SDI all the way to those projectors and uh, that projector right there. So uh, basically what I've done is I want, I want our streaming experience um, to be able to uh, to see whatever you know the the audience live is seeing. Let's let's say for example, there's a video being played, or or announcement slides, or something like that. That I want both the streaming people to see and in here to see. Uh, then then there's an option. There's an input for that. And so because the HDMI output is going into one of these little boxes, there's also a loop output. So there's a there's a this is. HDMI output here going to input there and but it has a loop output so there's a there's another HDMI out that I took not this particular one but under there and that's feeding one of those inputs so whatever I do right here say I change in some slides around will also happen right there right makes sense that's the easy one second thing though I want to do is obviously when we're singing I want lower thirds lyrics. I don't want, you know, that to be shown uh, on top of, of our singing. And there's a, there's a couple of ways you could do this, um, but this is sort of my workaround. Now I realize that the most ideal thing to do would be probably to buy a DeckLink Duo card, come out of that computer, SDI, and do the alpha channel thing. But the thing is with that is that you have to have two signals, one key and one fill. So you'd go out of this into that deck link card and, it, and then you'd take up two SDI slots, right? So you'd be going two SDI slots into the ATM TV studio, which only has four to begin with. So I, I, I basically, I don't want to have to do that if I don't, if, if I don't have to. I don't want to do that if I don't have to. So here's my like temporary workaround for that for lower thirds lyrics. So like many of you guys, um, I have created a second template. So basically when I click this slide here, it's formatted in the middle. There's this lower thirds thing that happens over here. So every time I click that, there's a lower thirds thing that happens there. And that's done. There's other videos on that, but that's done um, with, with the looks and uh, the themes. If you create a theme that has just this formatting happening, and then you can apply that theme um, to what's called a, a look. And so basically, the, the short of it is, when I click this slide, it outputs the lyrics in that format and that format, okay? But then how do you get that format right here to sit nicely on top of the video, okay? So here's the temporary sort of not very good solution, but it works is I set up this computer to do an NDI out, which is a output over the network. It does video output over a network. And then I have this computer hooked up to that same network. You can see kind of how I have that going on right here. So 
on my uh, screen configuration, I've set up a lyrics lower thirds there, and the output is an NDI output, you know, set to the proper resolution or whatnot. And that is then going to this computer running Wirecast, which accepts NDI. Not a lot of programs accept NDI, um, but this one does. And so in Wirecast, you can go in and add a new item. And under the network menu there, if you have NDI correctly set up on your network, it should just automatically appear. So this is what that is. And then it just shows up right like that. So whenever I click a slide over here, I'm clicking on ProPresenter. It, oh, where am I? Whenever I click on ProPresenter, it automatically, get that mouse out of the way, it automatically changes here. So that way I don't have to have a separate media operator like clicking through slides just for the stream. The person who's operating slides for the front of house is changing the lyrics for the stream. Now, how do you get those lower thirds uh, lyrics to display properly through the Blackmagic ATEM switcher on your program output to your stream audience? So. The output, I have Wirecast Pro, by the way. Again, this is a super expensive, crazy solution. There's probably an easier way, and this is where I need your help. But this works for now. I have Wirecast Pro. I have this little AJA T-Tap, which outputs that, this signal, outputs that signal, and then that allows me to go into the switcher. But still, when it comes into the switcher, it's white text with a black background. How do I separate that? Well, um, when in the ATEM, you can do what's called a, uh, a downstream key, which is this button right here, DSK. One, if I uh, enable that, oh, look what happens. See, if I disable that, but if I enable that, um, there it shows up, lower thirds lyrics on top of the video. I can still switch my video cameras, but those lyrics will stay the same. And if I click a different slide here on my ProPresenter computer, it will automatically change there. Now, how did I do that in here? Well, um, there is in the downstream key section. Now I relabeled all these things, but pretend this is like camera input one, for example, but I, I made a new name just to make it easier on my volunteers. It just says lower lyrics DSK one, just so they know what's going on. But this was camera one input or something like that. So I the fill source and the key source I made them both the same because I didn't really feel like there was a difference if I made one like black or something and, uh, and you know, I, I, I don't know. It, they, they both kind of did the, did the same thing to me. So anyway, so key one is that. And this, as far as I can tell, is what's called a Luma key, which takes out black and preserves everything else. So this template over here, this theme, I should say, this song, you know, Futura lower third template. Oops. <laughs> I accidentally just set that to do that. If I go, what I meant to do was lower thirds edit that template. This has a black background on it. So this is outputting every everything that I'm doing here even if this has like a transparent background or even if this has like a video attached to it here, it is sending only white text with a black background there. So then that's, again, to review, that's going into Wirecast. That's just a white text and a black background. That then is going to my switcher. White text and a black background, which is then going into my downstream key one and fill source and key source is that input, and that allows it to sit on top very nicely. Now, obviously that's kind of a crazy solution. My question is, could I just do like a Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini recorder, or is it the monitor? I forget which one, whatever one outputs. Now, because ProPresenter doesn't like this little device, I couldn't just plug this device into ProPresenter because it doesn't recognize it, but it does recognize black magic devices. So if I got the Ultra Studio Mini monitor, I think is what it is. It's the one that can output. It does the same thing as this. It's just Thunderbolt to SDI or HDMI. If I plug that into here, will ProPresenter see that and will it allow me to do a third output? Because if so, I could eliminate this computer altogether. 
I wouldn't need this. <laughs> I wouldn't need that computer. Um, but I don't know if I want to drop the coin on a Decklink Duo or whatever. Um, you know, is there another way to do that? Um, that's my question. Um, now, to, to answer, what happens when I want to like put some different media on the stream that's not on these screens? Well, for right now, what I've come up with is you can use inside the ATEM, um, you can use this media pool. And for example, we want to display like some, some lower thirds name slides for uh, myself and some other people. And we also do these custom uh, lower thirds things for some of our announcements. And so it ha kind of has some detailed information. And what I've done there, so you can load in like up to 20 pictures in this thing. So I load in these transparent PNG files um, there. And then in my switcher, I've actually assigned, if you go media player, um, sorry, no, if you go downstream, I, I made him another downstream key. So downstream key two is media player one and media player one key. Long story short, if I turn on this downstream key, that um, graphic comes up. Now, I also have those lyrics in the background, which I can take off. And now it's just that graphic. And then through the, uh, the media player here, I can switch the graphics and it will change like that. So I can have, you know, my cool lower thirds thing. And again, I can still switch the video behind those graphics um, and things like that. Now, if I wanted to do special video content specifically for the stream and not happening here, I'd have to use like one of those hyper decks or something like that from Blackmagic. But right now this is a pretty solid working solution. Right now I just have two cameras, but I have the ability to show pro presenter, full screen, full output, and also a lower thirds lyrics. On top of that, I also have the ability to throw specialized lower thirds graphical content or what have you not uh, via the media pool in the ATEM. There you go. Hope that helped or not. Help, help me, thanks, bye.